Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome to Recipe for Disaster Guide, part one, helping the cook. Uh, so for this quest, you need 10 cooking and cook's assistant. If you need that quest done, there is a link on the screen uh, to take you to that guide. For the items, you're going to want an Eye of Newt, Greenman's Ale, Rotten Tomato, Ashes, and a Fruit Blast that you've made yourself or have gotten from the dig site quest. Uh, I recommend bringing some energy potions, uh, about 100 coins, a tinder box, a ring of dueling, an amulet of glory, and ways to get to like Trinum Stronghold and things like that. So this quest can be done by you just getting all the items and turning them into the, to the cook, but um, I'm going to go through and just run through everything here and how to uh, how to get every single item because I figure if you're looking up a guide for this quest, you're uh, you're wanting to know how to get the items. You know, It doesn't really benefit anybody if I just go and uh, <laughs> show you guys the items in my inventory and then click finish quest, which is how you can do this. Anyway, talk to the cook here in Lumbridge Castle um, and ask him if he has any more quests and then pretty much the dialogue doesn't matter. Uh, but at the end, make sure you hit yes, help the cook again, and he will give you this list of obscure items that he wants you to get. And he gives you 100 coins to cover costs. That should be enough, but you can bring 100 coins extra if you want. Anyway, a dirty blast, a, gl a glass of Greenman's Ale, a rotten tomato, and an eye of Newt. So what I like to do is I like to immediately climb up the stairs and uh, go to the far end over here in Lumbridge. You see like these these four, uh, yeah, four, yeah, four, um, tinderbox, or tinderboxes, holy shit, these four logs that just chill up here at the top of the castle, just light one, and, uh, then wait for it to burn out, and when it burns out, there will be ashes. I promise you guys, as per usual, by the end of this quest guide, I will be able to talk. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Anyway, uh, go to Draenor Village now, and we're gonna head over to Port Serim and get you guys the, uh, the Ayanute. So trade Betty, and you can buy one I have new. Pretty cheap. Like one, two coins. Now grab your ring of dueling and go to Castle Wars. Or if you have the Watchtower teleport, you can teleport there as well. We're going to be going to the bar that's in Yanil. And there we will be getting our Greenman's Ale. The bar is on the uh, southwest side. So go on in there and uh, talk to the bartender. Ask him what's on the menu, and then say, I would like a Greenman's Ale. Cost 10 coins. Now before you leave, go all the way over to the far east side, a little bit north of the bank. A little bit northwest of the bank, even. There will be a crate next to uh, the cages where you can get that uh, that security random event. Anyway. Right click this crate and hit buy, and there you can buy a rotten tomato for one coin. So once you have that, you're pretty much good to make your way to uh, the uh, Grand Tree area. The tree, no, it's not the tree gnome stronghold, it's just the gnome stronghold. Um, but I don't have uh, gliders unlocked at this time, um, or trees, so I'm pretty much walking. So I teleported to Camelot. Uh, you could do other stuff like you could games neck and then walk down from uh, from the barbarian outpost area. There's a lot of different ways to get there. You could even teleport to Artie and just walk north. Ah, the lovely sound of RuneScape music. I don't mind it though, to be honest with you. Makes the uh, makes this not as uh, as quiet, because it would be dead ass quiet if it wasn't like background filler. It's the majority of why I use it. It's one of those things like you would miss it if it was gone, and I can't be fucked to find like copyright free music. Anyway, once you finally make it to the uh, Tree Gnome Stronghold or Gnome Stronghold, whatever the fuck it's called, go to the second floor and talk to Blurberry. Say, okay, I'll give it a go. Now he's going to give you this book, so open it up and flip to page 10. Now 
that's the fruit blast page, by the way. It tells you you need uh, one pineapple, one orange, one lemon, and then a lemon slice. So, uh, trade this guy on the far east side, buy one knife, buy one cocktail glass, buy a pineapple, buy an orange, and buy two lemons. Now use your knife on the lemon and make lemon slices. And then mix the cocktail. Now, pour the mixed cocktail just by clicking on it, and you'll get your fruit blast. Now, don't accidentally drink this. Don't accidentally drink this. Before you leave, put your uh, put your ashes inside the uh, fruit blast to get a dirty blast. Boom. Dirty blast. And that's all your items, guys. Teleport back to Lumbridge, walk back to the cook, and there you go. Quest complete. Boom, one quest point, and you have to go through the door and do the cutscene before you get access to the Color Nomancer chest to get your hard leather gloves. So just click on that door. It's about a two and a half minute cutscene, as you'll see when I go down here. The chest will not be available yet. So, Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed the uh, the guide. If you did, you know how to show your support by leaving a like and a comment. Also drop that subscribe button for more intricate guides in the future. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to leave you guys here with this cutscene. But I guess not yet. I'm gonna I wanna show you guys the uh, the very first stage of the Colon Romancer chest and stuff. So just uh, when you're uh, when you're doing RFD, it's not like you'll ever actually just use the hard leather gloves. But on the off chance, you know that you wanted it, <laughs> you can go and uh, go down here and get that stuff. It's almost like a uh, a nice alternative to regular leather gloves. Poor man's. And you buy. You have. Oh, you have access to all that food too, which is pretty nice. And then there's your hard leather gloves. So you get more and more food access. Um, the more subquests you get complete too. So that's it. I'm not going to talk through the rest of the uh, the cutscene, but I'm going to play it right now. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.
We'll be right back.